We are finally pulling out of the war in Afghanistan, or at least they've promised us we're pulling out. But I've got a bigger quagmire for you, the war on drugs, which brings us to the number of the day, 56. That's not a rapper. That's the percentage of Americans who, according to the not exactly liberal Rasmussen poll, now favor legalizing and regulating marijuana the way alcohol and cigarettes are. Now, there have been a ton of these pot polls lately, so many, for some reason I can't recall all of them, but they've shown the pendulum swinging towards decriminalizing cannabis, which I think represents a true return to old-fashioned conservative values. Let me explain. Pot was only made illegal back in 1937, so having it be legal is technically the conservative point of view. Washington grew it, Jefferson grew it, Ben Franklin started our first colonial printing press using hemp paper. I'm not saying he smoked any, lots of sober guys fly kites during thunderstorms. Uh, and it was as American as apple pie, and they all knew if you smoked the flowery top part of the hemp plant, you'd want to eat a lot of apple pie. In colonial days, the biggest drug problem in, this, in the colonies was the same as today alcohol. Now our first Republican president, Mr. Lincoln, famously wrote, two of my favorite things are sitting on my front porch smoking a pipe of sweet hemp and playing my honer harmonica. That's right, our first Republican president wrote that. And who among us friends would ever want to deny Abe that simple pleasure, especially after he got Mary Todd Lincoln's shopping bill.